Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of the series. In this video, we'll talk about systems of linear equations and their solutions. Okay, my story begins uh, with the study of linear equations, uh, you know, going from the title itself. So a linear equation in n variables, x1, x2 through xn, uh, is an equation uh, which is linear in all the variables, redundantly speaking, of course. Uh, so what this means is that this equation is of the form a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus dot 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 a and xn equal to b for some numbers a1 through a n and b. So the first n of these, uh, a1, a2, a3, so on up to a n are called the coefficients and b is called the constant term. So in other words, if a number is multiplied to a variable, uh, it's a coefficient uh, of that variable and a number that just stands alone is the constant term. So let's look at some examples of linear equation. So we see here three different examples. So the first uh, is a linear equation in variables x and y. Uh, so it's 2x minus 3y equal to 7. Uh, my coefficients here are 2 and minus 3 and my constant uh, is 7. Uh, my variables in the second equation are x, y, and z. Uh, my coefficients are 1.5 and pi, and my constant term is square root of 3. And in the last one, uh, my variables are a, b, and c. My coefficients are 1, 3, and minus 6, and my constant term is 1. So if you've, if you've, if you've been paying attention so far, uh, you've noticed that each variable uh, in each of these linear equations uh, is raised to the first power only, and hence uh, the name uh, linear is attached to these equations. So this brings me to the idea of a solution to a linear equation, which is just a set of values uh, for the variables for which the equation holds. Let's look at some examples. So say we have the equation 2x minus 3y equal to 7. I want to choose values for x and y um, such that they uh, satisfy this equation or this equation holds or the equation holds true, whatever phrase you prefer. Um, so say if I choose x equal to 5 and y equal to 2, not going to be a solution because 2 times 5 minus 3 times 2 is 4 and 4 is not equal to 7. So I'm replacing every instance of x um, with 5 and y with 2 and because 4 is not equal to 7, um, the equation is not satisfied. On the other hand, if I choose x equal to 5 and change y uh, to 1, then it's satisfied because my left-hand side is 10 minus 3, which is 7. Um, and similarly, if I take a pair of values, uh, x comma y equal to 3.5 comma 0, that is also a solution because the left-hand side now is 2 times 3.5 minus 3 times 0, which is 7 minus 0, which is 7, which is the same as the 7 on the right-hand side. So the equation is satisfied again, and therefore this pair is a solution. So we've seen that for the single linear equation, there's at least two different solutions. And it's not, it's not an error. Uh, it happens quite frequently that a single linear equation has lots and lots of solutions. Uh, and if I can tell you a secret, sometimes infinitely many. Let's look at another example. So this time uh, we have a linear equation with three variables, x, y, and z. Um, and the same idea goes that um, if we choose values of x, y, and z that satisfy the equation, then um, you know, those values form a solution to the equation. So if I choose x equal to five, y equal to one, and z equal to zero, then my left-hand side becomes 10 minus three plus zero, which is seven, which is the same as the seven on the right-hand side. Therefore, five, one, and zero form a solution to the linear equation. Um, we can also write um, like the, our choice of values for the variables in the following um, fashion. So uh, the triple of values x, y, z given by 3.5, 5, and 3 is also a solution because 2 times 3.5 minus 3.5 plus 5.3 is 7 because uh, 3.5 and 5.3 uh, cancel each other because of the opposite signs, and 2 times 3.5 is just 7. So the last thing I want to say on this page 
is that the the shorthand notation x comma y and x comma x comma y comma z which is what we call the pair notation and the triple notation uh, let's just describe um, multiple uh, values at once as we'll see in one of the examples soon okay so this brings me to the idea of a system of linear equations sometimes referred to as a linear system and that is just a set of linear equations in the same variables uh, for example um, like the first uh, pair of equations here uh, is a system of two linear equations in two variables x and y so 2x minus 3y equal to 7 and x plus y equal to 6 are both linear equations they are both in variables x and y so now this is a system of two linear equations in two variables x and y uh, the second example uh, we see that there are two equations uh, but there are three variables involved both of these equations are equations in a b and c so this is this is a system of two linear equations in the three variables a b and c now a sequence of numbers is called solution to a system of linear equations if it is a solution to every equation in the system so instead of just satisfying a single equation like your choice of values has to satisfy every single equation in the system let's look at an example so say we are given uh, the first example from the previous page 2x minus 3y equal to 7 and x plus y equal to 6. Um, now if i choose x equal to 5 and y equal to 1 and i plug uh, both these values in both the equations we see that um, 2 times 5 minus 3 times 1 is 10 minus 3 which is 7 uh, which is the same which is the which is the same as the 7 on the right hand side so it is definitely a solution and uh, when we plug this in x plus y we get 5 plus 1 which is 6 and that is also a solution so both of these equations are uh, satisfied and therefore uh, x equal to 5 and y equal to 1 is a solution to this linear system of equations on the other hand uh, the pair of values x comma y equal to 3.5 comma 0 is not a solution to the system because while it does satisfy the first uh, equation because we get 7 minus 0 equal to 7 uh, it does not satisfy the second one um, and therefore 3.5 comma 0 is not a solution to the system of linear equations now we saw that the previous uh, system of linear equations uh, had at least one solution uh, in other words there was at least one a pair of points that satisfied both the equations in the system but sometimes it's impossible to find a solution so there are there are systems of linear equations that may not have any solutions at all uh, for example the one that you see uh, on the screen so the system given by x plus 2y equal to 1 and 2x plus 4y equal to 1 has absolutely no solutions why because um, you take values of x and y so that x plus 2y equal to 1 then multiplying both sides by 2 gives us that 2x plus 4y equal to 2. so in other words the first equation x plus 2y equal to 1 is equivalent to 2x plus 4y equal to 2 and if there were values of x and y that were to satisfy both 2x plus 4y equal to 2 which is equivalent to the first equation and 2x plus 4y equal to 1 which is the second equation then that would mean that because 2x plus 4y and 2x plus 4y are the same that would imply that 1 and 2 are the same thing which is obviously not true so therefore there are no real numbers x and y that satisfy both the equations at the same time so like system like this which has no solutions is called an inconsistent system of linear equations and if a linear system has at least one solution we call it a consistent linear system so sometimes a consistent system of linear equations can have infinitely many solutions uh, as we'll see in this exercise so we're given a system uh, of equations uh, x plus 2y equal to 1 and 2x plus 4y equal to 2 and we want to show that uh, the pair of values given by 1 minus 2s and s for any arbitrary value of s is a solution to this system so to do that uh, we simply start with any real number s 
for any value of s now, we'll have a value of x and a value of y given by 1 minus 2s and s. And the next thing we want to do is we want to just insert these two for x and y. So we get 1 minus 2s plus 2 times s equal to 1 minus 2s plus 2s, which is just 1. Uh, and therefore, the first equation is satisfied. And similarly, uh, we replace x and y in the second equation and we get 2 times 1 minus 2s plus 4s equal to 2. Therefore, for arbitrary values of s, uh, the pair given by 1 minus 2s and s is a solution to the system of linear equations. And because these arbitrary values of s uh, are chosen from real numbers and real numbers are infinite, you know, the system has infinitely many solutions. Now, when we have infinitely many uh, solutions, um, like the letter like this, this letter S is uh, referred to as a parameter. So um, our, depending on this parameter, we have a different solution to the system. And with this, I would like to end the first episode of the series. Uh, bonus points to you if you can understand the joke and figure out exactly what is happening. I will see you in the next episode soon. Until then, happy learning.